If Donald Trump is serious about law and order, he should build a wall around Chris Brown. Seriously, why am I still hearing about this cockroach? How this piece of crap still has a career after beating up his girlfriend, I don't know. Natalie Maines made one statement criticizing W over the Iraq war, and the Dixie Chicks music was banned on the radio, and their career was over. Chris Brown beats the shit out of his girlfriend on the way to the Grammys, and the next year he wins a BET award. What the fuck? And don't tell me he's so scary talented that he transcends the laws of man. Yeah, he's won a lot of awards for his music, but with what passes for artistry these days, it's like hitting a home run in slow pitch baseball. Let's face it, Brown is a chocolate Bieber, another pretty dirtbag who owes his career to the fact that he draws clickbait. And he and Rihanna may be splitsville, but Brown is still engaged in an abusive codependent relationship with the media. It's like this. Brown needs the media to keep his profile high to sell records, and the media needs Brown to sell eyeballs. The more the media fuels Brown's bad boy image, the more attention he gets, the more his albums sell, the more he feels entitled to act like an entitled asshole, which gives the media their red meat and encourages Brown to feel more entitled and act like an asshole. Lather, rinse, repeat. So the cops waited around till they could get a search warrant and the lawyer arrived. But a couple hours of watching the waiting police check their Facebook is about as interesting as waiting for sea monkeys to hatch. So the media ratcheted up the drama by bringing in news copters and started talking about a standoff at Brown's compound, like it was the Branch Davidians or the Alamo. And there it is, it becomes a big story, because the media knows what buttons to push on Brown to get the reaction that they need. Touch his sense of entitlement, his overblown sense of importance, his persecution complex. It's like whacking at a pinata filled with shit. And Brown didn't disappoint, using Instagram videos to rant about <coughs> ugly, trifling bitches and taking a moment to promote his music. But also a shout out to Black Lives Matter, though the only color that matters to him is green. The kind you spend and the kind you smoke. So the media helped inflame the situation with the cops and rattled Brown's cage, and Brown gave the media red meat for clicks. He's a useful idiot. But you can't expect good decision making from a guy who deliberately made himself look like Wesley Snipes in Demolition Man. Fans call Brown breezy, which is appropriate, because so is a fart, and that's what his musical legacy will amount to. They should call Brown's PR team Fabrizi, because they're trying to cover up bad stink. But Brown and the media continue to satisfy each other, like a double-digit sexual position. It's ugly, it's mean-spirited, and it's motivated by dollars. But hey, that's show business! Jeez, Tupac and Biggie are gone, and this is the crap we're left with? I'm at the Sock. Follow me at at the Sock, and don't forget to subscribe. See you later.